Good morning YouTube, this is James Nader and this is that Friday feeling. So normally Friday feeling for me, hashtag, would mean that I'd be kicking back and relaxing. But today, Friday feeling means that from now on, a YouTube channel video will be coming out to you. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. So stick around, let me take you into Photoshop and let me just show you a few things that I do for clients that might help your workflow and make your workflow and your editing in Photoshop a little bit quicker. <laughs> I'm going to choose one image and I'm going to show you exactly what I did with that image to turn it into a piece of art that's featured in this calendar. So without further ado, let's see you on the other side and I can tell you and show you some of the stuff that we did. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop. This is the finally selected image that they wanted to work with and we did two days retouching us on this backwards and forwards to make sure it was relevant and correct. However, we did change the image and I'll show you that shortly. Um, but the very first part of my process is to give the um, client a selection of images first and foremost which have been rendered down from my initial selection they come back with the final ones then together we choose one entitle that notes and then choosing a nice bright color so the client can see it and I can see it I would then start making notes on the picture to see what I would need to do in terms of retouching so just right off the bat here we go I would probably push in that hair there um, I, I quite there's a little bit of movement there, so it must have been slight time exposure. I don't know. It was very, very windy. You couldn't tell, but it was very, very windy. This would have to be cleaned up here. Um, I don't mind about that. S something going on down here. This will have to be cleaned up there. Yeah, I'm looking for things that initially grab my attention. So those hairs on the arm there, they're natural, but they're a little bit unsightly and do draw the eyes. So they would have to go. So would these bits here. Um, coming down the dress. I personally don't really have a problem with those there, but you never know. But this definitely, for me, even though it's part of the design, the client and I have really suggested that that needs to go because the eye, if you look at it, gets drawn straight into that. So my eye goes straight into there, and it doesn't even think about what else is going on. So, okay, so that's that. So coming down here, I think this needs to be elongated over here somewhere. I don't know what I'm going to do, but something like that will work. This will have to come off. This will have to be hidden, possibly. Uh, coming down here, her legs are looking a little bit chunky around here because she's crouching down. Very quickly she was crouching because the weather was very cold. It was very windy. And, of course, she's standing on ice, and that is, is not something you normally do. Uh, as we work down the picture, some of this is a bit clunky. I think here we might have to push that in a little bit, and we might have to push this in a little bit to make it a bit more believable and the reason for, for and the reason for that is because this actually looks like it's neoprene or some sort of scuba diving outfit that's being cut and shaped to make a dress by the designer i mean it's a haute couture avant-garde style design so it's a little bit ropey and it's a one-off just for the shoot and you can see that by looking down here so you can see the frayed edges there it's all frayed there this is all frayed down here that will have to be looked at um and of course, because she's crouching very haphazardly and not comfortably, we're getting some of these lines, which I couldn't really do much about because it's about quickness. I mean, look, the girl's actually standing on pure ice. This was the biggest mistake that I could make. To be honest, the stylist had buggered off somewhere and left me getting on with the shot, and she should have been looking at the detail of the model, the dress, and what was going on. But we needed to get this done quickly. She was freezing cold and she didn't want to do it, but she agreed to do it. So we said, let's do it in post. But realistically, it's difficult because the detail has gone from the toes. There's nothing to bring across in some of the toes. Anyway, just quickly, something else here. I've got a lot of attention drawing brightness here. So my eyes are going straight into this. And also up here is very, very bright. Now, whilst I don't mind that, it's all about the campaign, which is entitled Pure. So anyway, without further ado, what I'll do is I'll just switch that off like that. So you can see, you can see a little bit in here, the idea that we'd be working on. So that's 
before and that's after. So I would then send a PSD layer, as you can see, exactly like that, just to show the client what I was thinking. Or to enhance your speedy flow in Photoshop, it's always good to make notes either on paper or in Photoshop itself, because if you keep the layer, you can see where your mind's going. So sit down with a cup of tea and go through your images and just make sure that you create notes on your pictures. Keep it on a layer, save that picture out as a layer, and you've always got a good reference, a visual reference. Paper reference is great if that's the way you work, but for me, visually, I like to see what my mind was thinking. I could come straight back and make those edits. Take that off there, and you can see there, that was the final edit that I did before I did the final, final render down. So that was presented back to the client like that. As you can see, if I create another layer, so for your benefit, let's do that again. It's notes two. Um, so just pointing out what I've actually done now. So you can see that I've cleaned the skin up. You can see that I've cleaned the arms up a little bit, but still had to make it believable. So I've done the arm so you can see even though there's some hairs there, the intensity is gone. Um, I decided to leave the hair. I've taken these little bits off here and I've left everything there. I've left that because it's natural. And uh, bearing in mind, this is the process before the client signed it off. So this is not the signed off image. And the reason for that is the client decided this was not a finished piece that they wanted to work with. So then we had to change it. Anyway, so you can see the slimmed waist there. If I switch it back on. There you go. You can see how slim the waist. You can also see that I've taken out that. I've cleaned up all of this here. We've cleaned up these lines here. We've taken all those elements. We've done the back here. We've taken out the flap there. If you look at that again, see how we've cleaned that up there. And we've brought this material in from another picture just to give that nice floaty feeling and the presence where the woman feels placed compared to that she feels placed elongated and happier in the location than she did before so that's how she looked that's how she looked afterwards so she's brighter she's got a bit more of a shape going on she feels more natural and she's believable and as you can see if i keep on flicking like that you can see here on the note layer you can see that i've done a little bit with that but I've definitely done something with this here. And what I did is I found another picture to bring that in, like so, to take out that contrast. And so now if you look at that, your eyes aren't drawn across, they're drawn straight to the center. And this is the most unique thing that you'll see, which is a piece of ice being held aloft by the model. And she looks elegant and placed and planted, and she looks believable. So that was the shot that we finally went with in the end. So that's the end of the Friday feeling. I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope there's something there that you can get something out of. And if you did get something out of it, please ring the bell and subscribe to the channel. Help me grow the channel. Um, lots of things coming up, lots of post-production, lots of lighting, lots of reviews. Um, but one or two things, people are setting me challenges. It's like, have you seen a fashion photographer shoot a car in the style of an advert? I've got Porsche 911 lined up, I've got a drone lined up, I've got my own drone lined up, and we're gonna shoot it on Sony cameras, we're gonna produce an advert of a car, and I'm gonna direct it and show you that it's all about light, shape, and form. The subject you're photographing is about how you photograph the subject. Take time to understand that light, shape, and form should allow you to photograph nuts and bolts, cars, laptops, you name it, as long as you understand the way the light is forming onto that subject matter, then you can definitely take a photograph in. <laughs>